You know, today I want to take a step back and talk about something that I've been thinking about for a while. Because in this doggy dog world of gaming and video games, especially for us content creators, where we're basically analyzing and critiquing games day in and day out. And, you know, it got me thinking after my late, latest video, excuse me, of the uh, Diablo 4 campfire chat and basically the comments I've been getting. And then that evening, the discussions that were being had in my chat, you know, it got me thinking, what is the true definition of success? You know, so I looked it up and according to Webster, success means a degree or measure of succeeding, a favorable or desired outcome. So it got me thinking, what is, is Diablo 4 successful? Is Last Epoch successful? Is Path of Exile successful? And I chose those three games, as I've stated before, I love ARPG games that genre, it suits my style, what I enjoy. So naturally, I'm going to look at games in that genre. And those are the three games that I've touched. And I asked the question because it dawned on me that if you apply the definition of success to all three of those games, then I would say to you, all three are successful and I'm going to elaborate on that because a lot of people right now, again, referring to Diablo four feel that it's be, been a complete utter disaster. And I'm on that side of the fence to me, they're not successful, but if you apply the definition of success, favorable or desired outcome, then here's the reason why all three are successful. Because if you apply the definition of success in the eyes of Activision, Blizzard King, and now Microsoft who owns them, what's their favorable or desired outcome? What do they measure success by? I would argue they measure and their desired outcome is the almighty dollar. So when it comes to Diablo 4, with that preface, there's no denying it. Diablo 4 is a success. They did $666 million in sales in the launch for, I think it was the first five days of Diablo four. So applying the definition of success, no one can argue Diablo four is a success. Now is last epoch a success? What's their favorable or desired outcome? Well, again, I can only apply what I know, what I've read, what I studied on 11th hour games. And to me, again, my opinion, their favorable or desired outcome, the definition of success is making a good game for their players. That's how I think they measure success. So I would think since the launch of 1.0, I would imagine they would feel that it's been a success. Now, of course, the server issues was an ugly smear on them and the game, and they have rectified it. I've been playing the game nonstop since the launch of 1.0, and the last three days have been completely free of any server issues. I've been able to play online consistently every evening. So that problem looks like it's been put to bed. Um, but 
if you use the definition of success and apply it to last epoch 1.0 i would guess that 11th hour games would be happy and would say it's a success from the fact that they have created a game that players are enjoying that are having fun again i've already said this in many of my videos regarding last epoch every evening when i stream it's full of comments and discussions about how much fun everyone's having with last epoch and the build variety and the quality of life and the stack unlimited stashes stash tabs and just on and on and on right so to me i would think 11th hour games would deem that a success grinding gear games with path of exile no doubt about it a lot of people argue it's the best arpg right now in the market and has been for a long time and i would say that they would also grinding gear games that is when they what's their favorable or desired income again i would guess that they would their outcome is to again make a game that the players can enjoy and love playing and and make for their player base and again i would think without a doubt they, they've done that and have done it for many years now we'll see what happens with path of exile 2 because a lot of the sentiment is that the core P poe players may or may not enjoy where poe 2 is going and and we're not going to get into that but at the end of the day it got me thinking the definition of success is different for every one of these studios yet all three i think can be pegged as being successful so that brings me square back to what i wanted to talk about today us the players the, the gaming community why do we play video games you know it, it 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 i started thinking where's the correlation does a studio's success align with what we would deem successful think about that for a second does the studio's measurement of success and what they feel is success align with us and our definition of success now i would argue two of those studios yes I'll, I'll explain why in a second one of those studios again my my opinion would be hell no i think you should all know where i'm going with this see of the three studios i mentioned activision blizzard king 11th hour games and grinding gear games two of them GGG and EHG, their priority and their definition of success, I would argue, is making a game our players want to play and it's fun. One of those studios, their priority and their definition of success is what's the number on the financial statements? So when it comes to us, what studio are you aligned with? Now, this isn't about aligning with studios. Please don't take that from this video. But, you know, it's laughable the kind of comments I get and people coming into my live streams arguing with me about whatever game, okay? And in this case, it was about Diablo 4 and Last Epoch and which one's better and all this kind of su su stuff, right? Excuse me. Like, you can't deny that this game has been a shit show. It has been. But it all makes sense on why Activision Blizzard King doesn't have to fix Diablo 4. And, you know, it's taken me a long time to get here. And, you know, stupid me. Because I fell for it too. 
but stupid me, I finally got to where I finally understand what's going on and their reluctance to change this game. And I did my video yesterday on the campfire chat and I was blown away, blown away because I was expecting going into that campfire chat and they were going to be throwing everything on the and the kitchen sink at us. This is here's what we got coming for season three. We know it's been a disaster. Here's what we're gonna do. I know it's not a lot, but it's a little bit, and we're we're trying to fix it. Season four regarding items, you know, and they were gonna show us stuff, and then talk about the vessel of hatred. How we are gonna take the next six seven months to the end of the year when we launch vessel of hatred. We promise, like we are gonna bring, qu I, like, I thought they would be throwing. We're gonna bring stash tabs that you can buy with in-game currency a loot filters coming yaddy like everything right this is i swear this is what i thought it was going to be and then my only dilemma going into that campfire chat was because i thought of it i'm like okay if they throw because it has to be a home run this has to be a home run they're dying it has to be a home run so they're going to throw everything at us to keep us chasing that carrot so my only problem was what happens if I don't believe it? What happens if I do believe it? So that was my thought process. And then to walk into that and literally fall asleep in the first five minutes of that campfire chat, I was just blown away. But it all circles back to how I started this video. What's the definition of success? Their definition of success is money, making money. And they have, and they continue to make money on this game why change it? They have reached their desired outcome. They're making money. Done. Check. They're good. So is that a game that you want to play? Support? Whatever. It's your, it's your dollar. You can do whatever you want. But my, I, I, I wanted to raise the, the two distinct distinct distinctions between two of these studios where their goal, if you listen to what they say and you believe them, and I have to say, Grinding Gear Games and 11th Hour Games, how I perceive them come off as, first of all, they're gamers, making games for players, gamers. I find them honest trustworthy and when they say something i believe it you want to know why because they don't hide anything they tell it like it is they they point the finger at themselves and admit they screwed up and they communicate that they screwed up and this is how we're going to plan on fixing it they're transparent honest they communicate i've always said this when you don't have to hide behind lies it's easier to talk because your mind's not processing. Okay, shit. What did I say? I got to make sure I, whatever I say, I don't contradict what I said on the last campfire chat. So your, your mind is spinning. And if you're not quick on your feet, you're stumbling on your words. But when you have a clear mind and everything you say is true, you can speak freely. And when you speak freely, you come off honest and trustworthy. And those are those two studios. So, you know, everyone keeps talking about success and Last Epoch's not a success because they're only on PC and they're in India, you know, this kind of argument, right? No, there is success. Last Epoch is a success. Grinding Gear Games and Path of Exile is a success. Why? Because the definition of success says so. It's the favorable or desired outcome. And when it comes to GGG and EHG, their desired outcome is to make a game for their player base and that it's fun and enjoyable and playable for many, many years. So they are successful. And Activision Blizzard King with Diablo 4 is also successful because their desired outcome is making, excuse me, making money. So... Let's put this issue to bed. 
I don't want to talk about which one's more successful, which ones were da da da. All three of them are successful. Two for one reason, one for another. That's my opinion. And it finally dawned on me that, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to start saying Diablo 4 is successful. That's what I'm going to start saying. Because they are. Because when I looked up the definition of success, that's what it says. The desired outcome. It's that simple. So, congratulations. All three games are successful. So, you can choose which one you want to play. Hey, you can play all three. Personally, I would have loved to sit here and say, I'm playing all three. Unfortunately, I'm only playing two of the three. I would have loved to have played all three consistently for a very long time. I'm a content creator and I live stream. I want to be the more games that I play that are good and fun, the better for my content, the better for my streams. It just gives me more variety and more content to talk about. But unfortunately, only two fit the bill when I analyze to me what's successful for me to play my definition of success in enjoying a video game is it has to be fun it it has to have what i deem are the critical criteria for an arpg and that is lots of loot lots of mobs crafting itemization and end game now neither of these three games are perfect they all have their strengths and they all have their weaknesses and none of them hit all of those marks the criteria for myself none of them but two of them hit the majority of those marks and two of them are a tweak here and there and a dlc or an expansion away from hitting all those marks. 90% of what I must have in an ARPG exists with Path of Exile and with Last Epoch. So that's why I'm playing them. And for the other, I don't think of any check marks, to be honest with you. Um, so definitely not the fun. Uh, I'm having a blast with Last Epoch. And anyway, I just wanted to kind of shine a light on this topic and success and it's in the eye of the beholder and like i said earlier one studio their definition of success is monetary so their game is successful hell it's successful from that aspect absolutely got they marketed the hell out of that game and they sold $660 million in sales the first week or five days, whatever it was. First three days, two days, whatever it was. Success. Check. Big success. And they continue to make money. Microtransactions. Um, so all three are successful. Anyway, let me know what you think about this topic and your thought process and what I said. Am I off my rockers? What do you think? Are you with me on this one? Are you not? And just want to let you know that if you are interested, I live stream every evening on YouTube and Twitch. Right now, we're grinding the crap out of Last Epoch. I have to say, it's been a very long time that I've played a game that I'm constantly can't wait to get back at it. And the discussions we're having in my chat about all the builds and the fun that people are having, um, you know, like this game, once they enhance, um, you know, they're bringing pinnacle bosses back, uh, back. They're bringing pinnacle bosses to the game in the later edition. And their number one priority is amping up the end game, you know, the variety, the quantity, um, so this game's future looks really bright. So I'm ecstatic about that because I'm already having this much fun. And really the end game does need a little more meat. So the fact that that's coming is just uh, really great. So let me know what you think. And if you are playing Last Epoch or you're playing Path of Exile or you're playing Diablo 4, let me know what you think. I would appreciate it. 
And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.